Hi there, welcome to Dear Cyber Sue. Today's topic is, should I send a goodbye text to my boyfriend who just broke up with me over a text? I'm telling you, these text conversations are becoming crazy. There's so much of it because this is how people are communicating. The problem is people are not being forthright. When they're in a relationship with somebody, you should have the respect for that person you're with to tell them you're ending things for whatever reason it is, but you should do it in person. Sending them a text, blatantly breaking up with them, is very, very difficult for the person receiving your text. It's not okay to do this. It's very heartbreaking and it just makes the person feel like everything they had with you was a waste of time because you don't care enough to contact them, sit them down face to face and just have a heart to heart with what maybe was missing in the relationship, what wasn't working. So many people now are just taking this easy way out and disrespecting a person that they've given themselves to. It's, I think it's just heartbreaking. I really do. So do you think that she should send a message to her boyfriend? I think a lot of people, this would be a very 50-50 split because some people would say, yeah, tell him to shove it up as you know what. And other people would say he's not worth it. If this is the way he's going to end things and let it go. But it's not always about that. It's about how you feel and the closure that you get from something that has ended. That's the important thing to, that we need to discuss here. It's because if it's leaving you sitting there feeling really broken, because that's how they chose to just walk away from what you thought was a great relationship. This is not a good way to move forward when someone does this to you. Quite often what can happen in these situations is there is some red flags that are coming beforehand where they're texting you less, you're seeing them less, they're pulling back a little bit. So yes, while it's still blatant that they're, they ended it, broke up with you over a text, you still can sort of see it coming. But if you're completely blindsided by it, everything's going pretty good and then they just send you this text saying, uh, yeah, I just can't do this anymore. I don't want to be in a relationship. I think you might want to say something to them for your own personal sanity. You don't have to see them, but if it feels good for you to say to them, you know, that was really hurtful what you did. And I don't appreciate that after all that we had together. I think that will help you move forward because you respected yourself enough to speak up. The trouble with the whole texting realm of what's going on out there is that people are getting lazy. And this is how they're, they're communicating. This is how they're ending things. This is how they start pulling away. And it's all based on whether you get a text, whether you don't get a text, whether they stop, whether they, they're constant. It is such a conversation piece in the dating and relationship world. And when you end up in a relationship with somebody, Make this clear that your communication is not going to be based on convoluted texts or just really simple texts. Sometimes people spend their whole relationship with these long drawn out conversations via text. And that doesn't show what's really going on between the two of you. There's no inflections, there's no body language, there's no eye contact, there's no playful touching or anything like that. Please try not to get into a situation with somebody where that becomes a big part of your relationship because that might be why they feel okay about ending it on a text. You want to have proper conversations if things aren't working in your relationship because it helps you moving forward to when you meet somebody else because maybe there's something in the relationship that happened that you can work on, they can work on. It can just be sort of a growing experience. But if it's just a goodbye text with nothing really messaged in there about what happened, you're just gonna go on with a lot of emotional turmoil about why the hell it ended. So that's when I think it's good to sort of say something to them. Maybe they'll say, well, can we meet? And I'll tell you, I mean, you might be able to get that out of them just for your own personal value. 
But I wouldn't just sit there and, and say it doesn't really matter because I think it will matter for a long time internally for you because it's not a nice way for something to end. So in answer to the question, I would definitely, personally, I would probably write something back if I'd been them, with them for a while. If it had only been maybe a few weeks or a few months, I mean, then maybe I wouldn't. It just depends on the whole scenario and how how blatant it happened. The bottom line to this this question here is you just always respect yourself first. If somebody chooses not to respect you, there's not a lot you can do about it other than maybe try and have a conversation with them so that you can walk away with, with your head held high about feeling good about maybe not being with them. But you don't want to continually meet people who treat you this way. You have to learn the lesson here. Learn the lesson that this person probably had some characteristics that were there that maybe weren't too obvious to you. Play it back in your head and look and see what, what he was like when he was with you. Was he sort of closed off here and there? Does he pull back, come back? Did he stand you up a lot? All these sort of things usually are in there when somebody ends a relationship in this manner. And if you don't end up doing anything about it and just moving on, well, you know in your heart that anybody who's truly invested in you would not be able to walk away in this manner. So thanks so much for tuning in to Dear Cyber C today. Please click like. If you haven't subscribed, I'd love it if you do so. And I will be back next Wednesday with another video. Thanks so much, everyone. Take care, everybody.